Miller USAF here. This video is going to cover uh, proper trigger control when shooting a rifle. This stumps a lot of new shooters out there. Uh, they'll be getting their breathing right, their stock weld right, um, they'll have their scope dialed in, and for the life of them they just can't get a real tight group. Well one thing uh, that is very important to marksmanship is good trigger control. Trigger control can mean the difference of getting on target and missing the target, especially at long ranges. So what you want to do is make sure, uh, number one, you're doing you know, the same thing every single time you shoot. Uh, now things to watch out for with trigger pull is what area of your trigger finger you're using. If you use too little on the trigger, your shots are going to be off. If you use too much, your shots will also be off. You want to use the middle of your first uh, pad on your index finger. What that does is when you engage that trigger, that means you're pulling that trigger straight back. You're not pulling it to the left or the right. You're pulling it straight back in a nice controlled motion. Another thing that uh, a lot of new shooters do when they're shooting a rifle, especially if it's a higher caliber, what they'll do is they'll take up the excess travel on the trigger. Then they'll immediately go like that. They'll immediately, they'll quickly press the trigger. And a lot of times they do that because they're anticipating heavy recoil. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they're mentally hurrying themselves up for whatever reason. They want to get the shot over with. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. Train yourself. Slowly engage the trigger. When it gets to the point here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and dry fire this. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. This will give you a good uh, demonstration. Okay, so I'm ready to fire. Take up the excess on the trigger. Then slowly... Uh, you saw how it just did that. Before I even finish my sentence, slowly applying pressure will cause the rifle to fire. The one thing to know if you've uh, placed a good shot... The one thing that'll give it away is the rifle will almost go off like it, uh, like a surprise. It'll surprise you. You won't expect it. Usually, when that happens, that's usually when you get your bullseye. Um, the more you do it, the more used to the rifle you get, and the less prone you are to anticipating recoil and trying to yank that trigger through to get the shot over with. So, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Like I said. Uh, Along with everything else with a rifle, do this once you get the correct technique down, the goal is to repeat that technique, just like you would in golf or bowling or whatnot. You know, when you bowl a strike, you want to repeat what you did to get that strike every time. When you're when you've just done that perfect hit in golf, you want to try and mimic that perfect hit every time. Same thing with shooting. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know, leave any comments, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Thank you.